KCAARadio.com. KCAA. Hey, welcome to another episode of Palm Trees and Progress Presents on NBC KCAA 102.3 FM, 106.5 FM, and 10.50 AM in the Inland Empire and worldwide on all streaming platforms. I'm your host, Eric Savior Solosorio, and joined with us as always is the better half of the show, Andrew Berkeley Big Dog Tovarez. Yes, yes, yes. Oh man! So uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, Andrew, how you how you doing? You you and the missus have any special plans, or what's going on with that? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, actually, courtesy of her job, they gave her a gift card for Christmas. It was to Fleming's, so we're gonna go. To you have Fleming's. you you have to clear your throat. You have phlegm. What was that? <coughs> there you go. Oh, you can tell. You heard that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sorry. Uh, Fleming's. Fleming's. Fleming. Uh huh. Uh huh. But yeah. Uh, but we're not gonna go on Valentine's Day. That, that's so. You know, that's have you a, have you been out there? What is what is that? What, uh, to, uh, I've never been. No, I've, uh, it's like a steakhouse. Uh, I had to, I had to Google it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was I was just about to. So thank you for saving me that. <laughs> no, I I had to Google it. I, I mean, it's it's a cool spot. I Google it, Daddy. Never been. Mm-hmm. I have no say. But uh, when she got that gift card for Christmas, she turned and she said, "Oh look, Valentine's Day." Like, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely lady! I love to I, I love to hear that she's already thinking about you, a couple like two months in advance. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So then yeah. I told her I'm like, that's an extra hundred dollars to your gift. Oh, 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 so still still looking for the present, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like if I ever get presents too early before Valentine's Day, I, this is Central Perk. There, I have a lot of trouble not giving it to the person. <clears throat> before Valentine's Day. I'm like, dude, I killed it on this present. Let me give it to you February 1st. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's a, I, I, I definitely agree with that. I, I've done that. Uh-huh, Tons uh-huh. of times. Christmas. Yes. Birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, it's and, December. And it's November 28th. Here's your Christmas present. Here's an early Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, I think that's common. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we should ask our guests. How they feel? Oh well, uh, yeah. So we uh, we have the lovely Abby Abby Johnson joining us today. So uh, for helping us run some things. So thank you, Abby, for making the time today to be part of the show. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you. Weep, boop, 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 and I guess boop, 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 boop. and some more DJ noises. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, Mrs. Johnson, am I saying that correctly? Mm, miss. Miss 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 Johnson. There's, there's, there you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Miss Johnson is her mother. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, what? How do you feel about the presents? Do you ever get too excited and, uh, th- you know, give a present before? A little bit. A little bit. Not. Not too much. I, I kind of like to build. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, like, you'll get stuff earlier in the year, and yeah. then like, okay, okay. I do. I feel like as me, as a, as a guy, as as a as a bro dude guy. Who sucks? I usually am not the best at getting presents. So when I finally nail it, I'm like, oh, so excited. <laughs> so that's why. I, I I mean, my sister and my mom and other like uh, ladies in my life have always killed it for her presents. Like, you know what I mean? Just generally <laughs> all the time. not lived up to expectations? What was that? <laughs> have you ever expected them to think one way and they didn't really like it? Oh, you know, off the top, I cannot think of any. Uh, you know, I, I, actually, actually, uh, <laughs> my ex, my, my ex and a uh, current baby mother, uh, she, I would always get like, you know, cool little presents for her or whatever. Uh, take, I would take her places. Say like, uh, she never gone to Catalina. So we went to Catalina together and, um, you know, she was yeah, like, wine mixer? unfortunately it was not the <laughs> wine mixer. Uh, <laughs> not the gosh darn Catalina wine mixer, but you know, I, I would, I would take her to places and then like I, my thing would be like I, I'd be pretty thoughtful I'm like yes this is somewhere that you want to go we love stepbrothers or stupid things like that and um, she'd be like well yeah you didn't get me anything you just like 
took me somewhere. So it's kind of a present for so it's kind of a present for myself too. And I'm like, hmm, I'm working minimum wage in a warehouse, <laughs> forty plus hours. And at the time, dude, I was it was like fresh out of high school, nine dollars an hour for ship That's for black. like manual labor, shipping and receiving. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> she just got her forty dollar present. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I, I you would think I would have learned. <laughs> That's whack. What, what about you, Andrew? What about you, Abby? Do you, either of you guys have a uh, present that you guys thought were super, like, you know, a, a present that you were giving that was super thoughtful, and um, the receiver was like, is it in yet? Or, uh, you know, they, it wasn't well received, I guess, as, as Andrew said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> oh. We'll let, we'll, we'll, Miss Johnson, you first. Uh, my first. grandma, I love my grandma very much, but she is a hard person to get a gift for. It seems no matter what you do, it's never good enough. She, uh, my, uh, I, I, she seemed to do okay, but my mom was kind of the same Oh, thing. macaroni art again? Jeez, Abby, you're 20-something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that's okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'd rather have you cook this pasta that you wasted and glued onto a piece of paper. <laughs> it was cute when you were a child. Now I'm like, this is just depressing for all of us. Uh, my mom and I got her a ice cream like maker. You know, one of those ones you just like make the little recipe in it. Is it snow cone? Are we talking uh, respado snow cone? Like a, like a shaved ice or like we're talking some nice thick creamy... Like ice cream, ice cream, ice cream thick okay. ice cream. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, right, right on, right on, right on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but because my mom and I like went half and half but on it, it was expensive gift, you know. Right, right. So, uh, we were so excited to give it to her, and she opens it. I'd be excited to give it. And to she her. was like, "Oh yeah, it's it's okay, thanks." Because it wasn't the exact one that she had oh. put on her list. <laughs> I'm over here not even understanding. There's like that many ice cream. Uh, makers that like home makers that you know that aren't dairy queen and there's multiple like models and your gma's like hey hey, hey this isn't the one that's like oh i don't even know it had better reviews than the one she wanted oh she didn't she didn't re read the amazon reviews no 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 she said well this one had like some sort of thing on it that the other one didn't and straight up well i mean it turned out okay because my down. mom and i ended up using it quite quite often my grandma didn't touch it ever but my mom and i used it a lot so it was it was pretty cool for us. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. The gift that keeps on giving to you yeah, guys. Exactly, exactly. Wow. If if I was my ex girlfriend and current baby mother, I'd be like, you got yourself a gift. Basically, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Andrew, what about you? Yeah, mine was actually more recent. Mine was like in the last two years. Mm -hmm. I gave Carissa, uh, my sister, I gave her a what was it? It's a like a hot coffee, uh, hot. Or it's an ice, an iced coffee maker. It does uh -huh. hot coffee and does iced coffee. You just have to put and your coffee there for like an hour, then it kind of chills out. It's iced now. I don't, I don't even understand what it was because room temperature, huh. co room temperature coffee maker. Yeah, how does this work? How did the <laughs> exactly? I, she hasn't even opened it. I've been wanting to see. <laughs> oh, that is the rough. ultimate. That's that rough. Is the ult but for, if you could only get that from a sibling, you could only get that kind of reaction from a sibling or something like that. Because like. It, her her reaction was, oh, so what does it do? Like, do I put, like, the ice in it? She's like, how does it make iced coffee? I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I don't really you have to know. open read it, the, read, the, read the directions. Like, read the instruction, my guy. <laughs> yeah. She's like, so good start. what's the difference between this and, a, like, a coffee maker, like, hot coffee, like, stuff? I'm like, I have no idea. And right. At Target, there was two different options. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There was this coffee maker that looks exactly like the one I gave Carissa, but it doesn't do iced coffee. And <laughs> the only difference in the picture was the ice cubes in the in the cup. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> like, does it say on the box directly that it has this certain thing for iced coffee? Or is it just to happen to be Andrew, like an like older you... box or a different ad box? You know, like maybe they switched up the image. I just gave his sister a bad Christmas present. I think is what I'm no, hearing. Oh, <laughs> it was really cool. See, I thought I nailed it. I got a I, I got a gift one time that was uh I don't remember who it was from. That's how memorable it was. It was a uh, cold brew, a cold brew Starbucks coffee maker, and that was when I was like, well, how do I do this? I didn't know how cold brew was made. 
basically like tea, I guess. You just let it sit in water. So, right? And so, basically, yeah. Yeah, so my, I haven't opened it as well. <laughs> Like Carissa, uh, I haven't opened it, but I assume it's just a bag of like grounded beans that I'm supposed to throw in water and just let sit, and that's cold brew. Hmm. But you know, I could I, I could be wrong about that. But Abby's See? nodding her head as, as in as if some. Uh, I need I need some, to open it. You know, what? I just yeah. need to open it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You're gonna I, open I, your I, wow. You know what my ex girlfriend slash current baby mother would say? Sounds like you got yourself a gift. <laughs> Is it like a nitro cold brew maker? Maybe something like that. Uh, yeah, you guys, I... keep, you guys keep calling. Uh, the station's getting called. I'll let uh, you guys talk amongst yourself. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna look this up. It's like the one that I don't know what Eric got, but I got a like. It's like Mr. Coffee Maker and like ice and hot. Yeah. Huh. It was interesting. It was interesting. Yep. It doesn't really say anything. You basically yeah put the coffee. Okay, I'm watching this. Wait, did you look it up? I just looked it up right now. So you put the coffee in the top of the coffee maker, like a normal coffee. Okay. Maker. You push the button. I'm watching the lady push the button, but there's already ice in your cup when you push the coffee on. Okay. All right. All ice right. picture. You're following. You're following. Let's see. And then she turned on the <laughs> coffee maker. <laughs> I was listening. Go on. <laughs> Turn on this coffee maker, put some water <laughs> in. <laughs> and now the cup has iced coffee. All right, so I'm still confused on how that makes it different than Were you not regular listening coffee Were you maker. not listening this whole time? He said it pretty clear. I, I got it. I understand. I was listening the whole time. For sure you were. Mm -hmm. Yep. And mm -hmm. that's coffee. Yes, 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 yes. And that's, that's an iced, coffee. That's a nice coffee maker. That's a nice iced coffee. <laughs> Niced coffee. That's what that's what, that's what my coffee shop's gonna be called. Niced oh, coffee. Huh? Not bad. Not bad. It was all right. I don't know. I guess my uh, my what was it? The automotive in, insurance is is oh. like ending or something like that. What was the thing that we were getting calls for for a while? Oh yeah, you, your 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 insurance is up. Your liability? No, not my insurance, but it was my uh manufacturer. Oh, yeah, it's my what? dealership. My dealership warranty is actually expired, and it turns yeah. out my '95 Accord. So I thought that was a pretty good warranty on it. So I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one. From the dealership, I'm like, it is darn near 30 years. <laughs> Dude, I just got something in the mail today. My car, I get which mail. I sold last June, is it's still covered. It mm -hmm. has a warranty still. Oh yes. What year is that? I'm supposed to call. I, I'm supposed to call, you know, and get get my money for some reason. It's your money. You want it now. Hey, that's yeah. not that's not so bad. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal. Sweet. No, it, they... Oh, right. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you know what? That reminds me of a story uh, about how Sorry. a friend of no, mine. Oh, good. <laughs> A burn. Uh, well, no, a friend of mine got, just, got, no, got something in the mail as well, uh, and uh, they got mail too. And uh, it was it was a check of like some kind of like oh, obviously a fake check, and they still tried to put it in their banking account. <laughs> who was who, who? How close of a friend was this? Do you, okay, it's my ex girlfriend, my current baby mother. She did. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear, and it was at oh, oh gosh, it, it's a, it was one of those credit unions, not Arrowhead, but the uh, <coughs> allegedly it was uh, one of the credit unions. And um, she put it in, and I don't know what had happened, but for sure she she might have spent some money and uh, owed some money after the check didn't clear. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid burn. Solid burn. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, an embarrassing story for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's an embarrassing story for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, bet you I could one up it. Okay, let's see, let's see let's see if you got that. I like it. it's just it's just bad timing. All right, it's just bad timing. <laughs> Ooh, let's it's, go. It, it was last year. My grandpa, yeah, R.I.P. And my grandpa, and grandpa, grandma, and grandpa, R.I.P. But uh, it was like last Christmas he gave us all checks to for christmas gift and then unfortunately he passed away uh like january 10th but my mom I, he left her in charge of all of the cards that he was supposed to pass out to you know all the grandkids 
So she passed him out like on January like 15th or so, like a week after he passed away, she found him. And everybody went to go put in their checks and deposit them. But then since, since he passed away, all the banks closed out. So when everybody went to go like deposit their checks, it was like we were depositing like a bad check. <laughs> Damn. It was it looked really bad. Oh it no. Real bad. They it shut looked down really the bad. And I think one was like boy, 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 boy. money got deposited into one of their accounts. They got the hundred dollars and then the uh, the check came, like bounced like boy, boy, boy. It, like a day later. <laughs> the hundred dollars came out again. It was bad. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that beats that story, though. I feel like, well, it, I mean, it's not as a I just thought because he was, he, he was dead. That was, that was their checks were being... Cash, <laughs> you guys are cashing in. Checks. <laughs> checks that someone's arse couldn't grasp or cash or whatever. Your guys' arse. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, it is pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds pretty bad. Man. Ugh. So you guys got any other ridiculous stories before we get into some uh, ridiculous news? Your hair? We it's a hat. It's a hat. It's a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hat. <laughs> Did you see me when no, I was trying to adjust? You know, for a radio show. They don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? <laughs> okay. If everyone tuning tuning into KCAARadio.com to watch the live stream, or who's watching via YouTube, will see me adjust or my hat uh, every five minutes. I guess Andrew's saying. Just and <laughs> proof. Just proof. <laughs> I'm not balding yet, and I don't have gray hair. I'm. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. Wait, I'm not. Gosh, that Central Perk coffee looks good. Man. Water. Oh, is it? Is it Wawa? H2O? H2O. All right. Abby, you got anything, you got anything to add? Nah. What's your favorite Friends episode? Uh, I can tell you. My favorite Ooh, Friends episode I is... Guess my favorite Friends are IE and Friends. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're going to be coming on pretty soon, huh? Yeah. That's what? pretty cool. Yeah, so awesome. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have the boys representing. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Out. For all those listening, go check out IE and Friends. Hey, where can they find them? Instagram, TikTok. They At got a podcast. IE and Friends. It, I don't know if you saw their podcast. It was like, um, I gotta check it out. It was like, Buenos. I'm gonna look real quick. Fill yeah. in the blank. Fill in the yeah, blank. Yeah, but on social media, I believe at IE and Friends. IE and Friends? Yeah. Yep, I Ian Friends on Instagram. That's what I got right here. And then, yeah, they got a podcast, too, called uh, I'm Trying to Figure It Out. Anyways, yeah. But, yeah, that would be cool. So they committed. And I think we also had someone else, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we don't have to give out we'll, we'll, all. We'll 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 know. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that one in the bag. I'm in my bag. No cap. Andrew and me both have caps on. I got one. Are we capping? Well, you got one what? No, I said you're right. I already gave out one. Yeah. Are you? Are you? I'm cat in the bag. Me and Andrew Oop. both cat. Oop. Cat in the bag. I'm not capping. Yo, that no cat, cat though, that Dr. Seuss cat. Right that dude, out. That dude was straight capping. That Dr. Seuss cat, he was straight capping, dog. That cat in the hat. He capping. for sure was capping. He was capping. Capping. All right, let's bring out the news. There we go. Woo! So we got a couple of scenarios, huh? Let's see. Let's <laughs> let's break into the newsy news. I got you know what? There's this video I've been I've been holding on to. I think I'm gonna let that play first. Let me kick it down with that. When you got Oh man, this is a good beat right here. Save your soul beats. Let's see. All right. Is this that... you at Christmas? Is this a funny video of you falling at Christmas? <laughs> I wish. All right, did you <laughs> do you see what's going on? Uh oh. What's going on here? Uh oh. What's happening? So, uh, for listeners on the radio who can't see uh, the live stream right now, there is a couple of uh, people leaving a high hop establishment, and they are picking up Ooh. the entrance mat, <laughs> the I hop entrance mat, Ooh. and they <laughs> very slick. It's very slick the way they do it. Like this is for sure not their first rodeo, or <laughs> oh, the way that little girl turns oh, around. Yeah, is anyone yeah. looking? So what's, what's, what's up? up? What's what's up? There you go. Oh, so it's like wow. about five college students leaving a IHOP, and uh, one of them walks like stands right outside, right around the cash register and the little Checks entrance to out. the yeah. Checks it out. Kind of just like, oh, nothing, doing nothing, and then other the chick. There's like three guys there, and then these chicks and like 
the <laughs> Daisy Dukes in like a halter tops are the just ones that wrap up real quick. That just wrap up a huge IHOP entrance map. Like that's pretty. That's pretty rad. That's hilarious. Uh, I mean, that's pretty. Yeah. I mean. Is that, I hope's not losing. I think that is a, uh, a a crime, Eric. How do you think they bragged about this as soon oh, as they got back to the dorm rooms? Probably oh. not. Yes, I <laughs> love that you said the dorm rooms. Exactly. But but also, a yeah, pretty, pretty cool brag. I get it. I mean, they yeah. just, uh, they, they're all like bringing it to parties that. and that's, stuff. That's going to be at their like fraternity house or the sorority house, or wherever it's going to be. It's going to be like their entrance. It's going to yes, be, exactly. gonna be like their thing. I, I hop. I'm a homie hopper. What up? Catch me. I my hop. Like, <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad, but at the same time, that's rad. That's pretty cool. I feel bad, but still rad. And honestly, IHOP's not gonna loot. We're not. They're not doing too much harm. I'm not saying go steal, car, you know, rugs or entrance mats from other establishments. They make, or they make conference. money from us. Yeah, yeah, they, they make were fine. money from us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they left them. We don't know. Maybe these guys left them a super cool tip and was like, <laughs> we're taking that. Hey, maybe that covered the mat. Yeah. <laughs> You know yeah, what? exactly, exactly. You know what? Maybe, but what if they dine and dash? I'm now seeing that it's in Florida, and I don't think that they, I don't think they even left a tip. Uh. <laughs> is, that, is that a cool? Is that a cool broad stroke? Can I say that? I feel like I, I feel like we can still say that. I don't, I'm not canceled. The shots fired. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yeah, Florida listeners, come on, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Sorry, Florida, we love you, uh, and that uh, you know, I hear the weather's all right. We'll be there soon. We're coming out there. I hear it's pretty humid. I I would go out there. I'd go out there. Progress underneath the palm trees in Miami, right? Hey, hey, yes, exactly. Andrew, you ever been out to Miami? Because you are our Mister International Worldwide (laughs) Dolly. Have you been out there? I have. I have been out there. Tell us about some Florida. That was before my time. That was before I could even do anything. Oh, okay. So you, so you were. I was like twelve. Or last time I was out there. Uh huh. So, uh-huh. But pretty nice place. I, I, from what I can remember, a lot of palm trees, a lot of beaches, a lot of, you know, you're able to express yourself and see a lot of cargo beaches, shorts beaches. too. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What's up with that disdain in your voice when you said cargo shorts? <laughs> I didn't say cargo shorts. No, no, no. I don't know if you uh, if you missed. Uh, Is that our guest? I, I, yes, passing our, question. Yeah, and you know what? I don't even know if I could call her a guest anymore, <laughs> just with her our tone of voice. Uh, yeah. Over. No, 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 no. Just, just. I mean, the, after what she said about cargo shorts, I don't know. I'm pretty heated. Oh. Uh, no, cargo shorts. Is Eric wearing cool. his. his... Cargo shorts right now. No, I'm a... not. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. This is the one time that I'm not. Although, temperature in Riverside. Kind of called for it. I I could have had as many pockets as I needed, and my legs could have been showing. I, How was the weather out there? Oh man, today was beautiful. What what would you say? I don't know, like seventies. Yeah, it seems like seventy. Yeah. It was nice. I it, I hopped out of the car and I was like, ooh, nice and warm, nice and warm. I I jumped out with with a flannel in the daytime, and I was like, I cannot wear this. I started sweating. A mm. thin flannel. Yeah. And you're wearing a flannel right now, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's the nighttime. Come on, come on. We're talking. It's seven. It's seven thirty over <laughs> it here. It cools down. It cools down. Yeah. Oh man, a- and you. What? College parties? You ever? Uh, you ever? You know, take anything? You ever? You, 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 like. What? Yeah, college parties. You know, because we we saw the IHOP thing. Like, have you? Oh. You oh, know, oh, like. Uh, I didn't take any party favors or anything like that ever in your past. Abby, what about you? No, no college parties. College was a little rough for me, actually. Oh, okay, this isn't the, this isn't somebody the close to me that I know. Uh-oh. Allegedly. 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 We were. Out. Oh, I mean, not we. I mean, allegedly, this group of people were out in this place in San Diego. Uh-huh. Uh, do you remember that place that we went? I think Peanut we butter got... shots or which one? Yep, yep, that one. Yes. Uh-huh. Good time. That Thank one. you, Andrew, for showing me around San Diego. That was awesome. That dude, we got to go back. Yes. That was fun. There's a, there we are. Right, let's do that. Let's plan a trip back. We're doing it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So then, should we plan uh, it on the air? Yeah, so that place, there's this like the, this boat that they come out when they give you like shots, those peanut butter shots. Uh huh. It, it's like a wooden boat, but it's like you can put your shot glasses in it, and it carries all of your shots. So, yeah. Like, it, it carries six, but it looks really cool. So we were, uh, uh, anyways, this group, <laughs> they were out. <laughs> Beautiful. Anyways, so yeah, we're, 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 up, we're, up, anyways. Uh, we're done. We're done with, done with that. 
And so, yeah, we're up top, we're eating, and one of our friends is like, dude, this is really cool. I'm like, yeah, I've never seen one of these. And my roommate and my other friend, close to me, I don't want to throw anyone on the bus, were like, oh, this is great. This is awesome. We should take this for the apartment. This is really sweet. We should definitely, like, you know, we could serve drinks on this. And, and allegedly. Like, no. Allegedly. Allegedly, you know. <laughs> so then our other friend that we're with was like, don't. Please don't. And I'm like, yes, please don't. <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? I'd like to come back here. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, please don't. And my friend's like, look, I'm looking it up right now. I'll buy you guys it right now. <laughs> I'll buy it and send it. He's like, please don't. And they're like, no, that's not the same. They're like, it's just not the same. They're like, we've been here so much. We've spent so much money. It's just not the same. And I'm like, okay. Well, I'm like, don't take it. And then they, boom, jacket underneath one of their jackets. It was cold. It was by the beach. They were able to just like cuddle it all night and just walk right out with it. It was done. Done deal. Yes. <laughs> Score. Did we use it ever? Never used it once since oh, we've had it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I know, once. I know Abby has a story too of uh, allegedly happening out in San Diego at uh, a cafe that serves a bunch of flights of mimosas. I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, I, I have a couple of ones. Uh, not I, not allegedly. so much of a Alleg allegedly, 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 allegedly stories that I heard. Uh, a friend of mine back in uh, high school and college parties, uh, we, you know, we would always go to college parties just with a group of friends, kind of just be, uh, you know, knuckleheads. Um, I don't remember the last time I bought like it, it, during this time uh, batteries, like batteries for controllers, remotes, or anything. Because when we would go to parties, we would exchange our batteries that were dead <laughs> with we're talking uh, TV controllers, batteries. No. We're talking <laughs> any right. batteries like worst. triple A, double A's. Like oh man, it was we treated we treated like a Radio Shack. Probably another reason Radio Shack's not in business anymore. And, uh, <laughs> you know, just like, hey, it was like a little electronic store for us when we needed new batteries. Or also another thing, allegedly, a friend of mine who started getting into <clears throat> at parties was uh, would take family portraits. Oh, gosh. From the walls at parties. Oh. And then throw them into his car or trunk or whatever. And then at another party, because, like, say we're going to three parties a weekend at least. And then... Um, Go to another party, ex take, take another family portrait, but not just take one, exchange that family portrait for a family portrait that was taken from like the Friday prior. And so we, our whole thought process is like, how long were these family portraits up on these people's walls of another family that they have, they don't know who they are until they're like, hey, who, who, who is that? How come we never put any family portraits? Because, you know, like, you, you, you suck. You Those hey, hey, cost so much money. Allegedly, <laughs> I suck. Allegedly, uh, I suck. I suck. Allegedly, I suck. yes. But, but I mean, because, cause, you know, you've purchased picture frames before or gotten gifted picture frames, and you see, like, it's just, like, a beautiful family in there that you don't know. It's, it's a stock photo, like Getty Images. So I assume maybe they're thinking, like, why do we hang this frame up with... <laughs> with, with, and forgot to put like photos in there. Maybe or, you switched it with families who didn't know each other too. Ooh, that's even funnier. Like that'd be amazing. Like, why do we have? Why are the Harrisons the in Harrisons, our living room? Why are the Harrisons in our <laughs> living room? <laughs> yeah. So like allegedly, that was kind of some of the funnest years of my life. <laughs> well, I, I just saw a video. I, I think like. uh Somebody was getting their like trying to confuse their parents and was like putting pictures of random like oh, yes. random picture pictures they'd find at like Goodwill. Uh -huh. They'd buy it and then put it around the house, like around their other picture frames, and the mom started like accusing the dad. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> wow, yeah. That w my next TikTok challenge is to see if you can cause your parents to get divorced. <laughs> Just keep oh. putting up photos of, of other people. The real Great. challenge. The Dude, real actually, challenge. You know how, okay, that's kind of like a good challenge. Like, that's innocent fun. Ooh, no. Yeah, make it like one of those uh, ice bucket <laughs> challenge things, you know? Where's yeah. the donation Bring back go that to? Stuff. Where do we take the ice cubes to? <laughs> yeah. Wow, that wouldn't be bad. Like you start like hiding, like you buy random like Victoria's Secret underwear, you slide it underneath. Ooh, oh, 
Oh you guys want to know the best? Uh, oh story. my gosh! <laughs> Go on. All right, so that is very is duplicitous, by the way. <laughs> this, well, this is okay. This is all true, but I won't. I won't say names. There's no names involved, but this is Go a off, true please. story. I was involved. <laughs> um, so I, I, we just got a new boss, and he was being like being a jerk, but we all used to like pr play pranks on each other. All, I, I I forgot what caused us to go this far, but this was like the finishing prank, but just to prank him. And it was because we were, he was giving us so much like, just a bunch of BS about we're just bad workers. He was, uh, he had, I don't want to talk too bad, but anyways, he was just being really too, too, too micromanaging. All right. So we're, we were doing laundry for after practice one of these days and we found, um, for some reason, some like, there was some girls' underwear, some ladies' underwear in there, and it was just, it just went through the the wash and the, it was in the dryer, so it came out of the dryer and it fell out. So we're like, oh, let's let's prank Dan. Let's put it in his. Oh, I use. Anyways, that's the so, boss. <laughs> in so, his uh, what now? Like, oh, what? Where'd you put it? In his jacket. Oh, okay, okay. And this is the boss. This is the boss. Yeah. The one that's already kind of like hard to deal with <laughs> yeah yeah all right let's go okay double down i love it <laughs> all right so we put it in his jacket pocket on his desk chair that he takes Woo. home to work uh -huh. so he goes so he goes home to work or or we, we we finished we didn't see the reaction we wanted to see he never found it so we're like ah oh, boo he must have never found it so then he oh dude the next day at work he comes in <laughs> he comes in so sad and he wears his emotions like he's a very emotional person. He's listening to Blink One Eight Two, just really upset. Dude, yeah, he's so like sad and down, and we're like, Bro. "What's up, Dan? Like, what happened?" And he's like, "Dude, he's like, I don't know. Like, Kelsey's so mad. Oh shoot. <laughs> anyway, so she's so mad at me, and just like going on and on. And we're like, what? <laughs> we're like, what happened? And that he's like, sense. "Dude, for some reason, when I came home from work, there was some ladies' underwear in my <laughs> in my pocket." <laughs> He's like, and I thought it was Kelsey's, and like we just did our laundry together. So I put it in her underwear drawer, and the first no. thing she found when she came home after no. the shower was this underwear, and she got so pissed at me. As she after should. As she them. should. <laughs> and just, just reaped him a new one, right? So then, all of us didn't know what to say yet, because yeah, yeah. we wanted to at least talk about it. Too deep. Into in too deep. Teamwork uh -huh. so we go, I we love it. Go on, I'm so. <laughs> We're like, all right, shoot, man. All right, we got to, yeah, we're like, yeah. All right, let's tell her. Because we all agree, we tell him. And he's like, no way. And we all explain the plan. We do, like, all this stuff. And we said, we'll tell Kelsey for you. Like, we'll go tell yeah, Kelsey. Yeah. And we, Can we you guys tell. also tell her that you gave me an STD? That's <laughs> he's like, He's like, could you guys tell her that, too? <laughs> Did be, they work out in the end? was a funny joke. What? Did they work out in the end? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely worked out. They worked out. They worked out. They, we, we told her. Yeah, she probably went to go cheat on him to get even that night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> they, they worked it out. He slept on the couch, he said. But then we we immediately told her it was just a joke. It was nothing. We found this in the football laundry, and we were just trying to mess around with him. Like, that was never meant for this to go home. Well, this, this is a lesson for micromanaging. Hand in his pocket. <laughs> and goes, every it. boss and every manager needs to hear this. He'd be like, "This is what could happen, you know, if you micromanage." This could be you. This could be you. Could be you. Oh man. Hey, and I gotta wonder, like, what's what's the funnier joke? If like they're the biggest panties you've ever seen. Yeah, like, <laughs> like don't you think is, you know is the that, size that funnier? Of it. Like, is that make it funnier? I think right. It does, right? <laughs> I think it does. I think, I think it, does. it does. She's like, and and with with who? <laughs> Who? Why don't you go play Wait. jump rope with this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, oh, that's oh awesome, my God. Andrew. That so is bad. so cool. Like, I, I would love. We could make a short film about someone like who has to that go through that. So like, bad. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, she took. She took the kids. <laughs> she went back to her mom's house in Rhode Island. <laughs> Just a mess. Ugh. Oh, it was so bad. Yeah, well, I guess you your your prank beats my prank for sure. Your your <laughs> prank beats beats mine. Mine's just like the <laughs> the early signs of a sociopath. I think is all mine is <laughs> like your your yours are funny. <laughs> it's like if you guys ever like if anything, you know, I'm 
uh, did, was there any early signs? Did anything kind of tip you off that he was a psycho? Now that you mention it, there was some stories about college and high school <laughs> about him going to parties and like stealing family portraits, I think. He said it was his friend, but I think we all knew who it was. It was kind of twisted. He liked to play mind games. <laughs> he was talking about like a very POV point of view. Stealing, <laughs> people's, hand. stealing people's batteries. Hey, man. Sick tricks. <laughs> I'm not going to Radio Shack for double A's. I don't. Only suckers do that. You are so intentional with that one. That is foul. <laughs> a little flagrant. A little flagrant. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, man. Since we're on. Since it's just between us good. three. Since it's just between us three. I, I got to get this off my chest. <laughs> I've. The. Body wash, and, body wash and toothpaste too. I've got body wash. No, body uh, face wash and toothpaste before at a party. I was no. like, <laughs> I, Dude, I was, why? I was, I was why? at a party and I, I, I was washing my hands and I was like, I needed to go. I, I, I was what? already. I needed to go get face you wash. <laughs> I needed to get face wash and I needed to get toothpaste. And I saw this party in this restroom had the exact same. Face wash that I use <laughs> to this day, that orange bottle with the little little beads in it. <laughs> and it had I say toothpaste. I was like, hey man, kill two birds while I'm stoned. In, in one stone. <laughs> like, let's go. So, did you just did you just coin that or I did. I feel like I got I I didn't get it from anything. So yes. Wow. Kill two birds don't, while stoned. Don't, don't repeat that again. No, no, don't say it on there. Wait, wait, trademark that. <laughs> don't, don't, stop giving that one away. Hold on. We could get stuff for free, but not that. I, Andrew, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think I got another cool video we can watch. Let's but, see if this one plays. I, I need to write that down. Maybe write that in the note. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is the one you sent me thing, a while ago, Andrew. <laughs> Do that, you know. <laughs> That's good, man. That's pretty good. That's a. Yeah. I can't oh. do that. Yeah, <laughs> it is a video of a man attempting to pass a uh, DUI sobriety test while doing a backflip. No, he's doing a backflip to prove that he's sober. Uh, he proved it to me. I mean, <laughs> he proved to me. I'm convinced. Huh? I'm convinced. Are you convinced? I feel like you guys are. You, I'm on the opposite side of that argument. I'd be like. You 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 pulled over. He's he's like wibble wobbling, can't stand still, and he's like, no 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 no, officer, I'm not drunk. Whoa, <laughs> do it again. <laughs> and I mean, the officer sounds like a really cool guy. He's like, oh well, you know, like that's cool. I can't do that, but also, I'm not drunk. You're also under arrest. Did you read you're still Andrew? Under arrest. Yeah, did you read the article, Andrew? Uh, that he he did get arrested. Huh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because he blew over. I I would, I would not allow him to go. I would just be very impressed. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. You know what, yeah, dude? Like, I, I'm an instigator. I would ask him to do it again. He did. Oh, right? yeah. I guess I just watched the video twice. He's drunk, right? <laughs> so ask him to do like 10 more. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You did it at least 10 times for me then. Oh, man. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I, I'm sorry. I do got to book you. I'm sorry. I got to take you into the drunk tank. But can we like exchange social media information? You seem like a cool guy. <laughs> You're pretty all right. You just make some wrong decisions sometimes, but it's all right. Can you teach can me you. to do a backflip? It's only human to make mistakes. Yeah, obviously you, you yeah. made a bunch of right decisions before. You could backflip. <laughs> yeah, you learned that from somewhere. You took gymnast gymnastics somewhere. You paid for the classes. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. I want to watch it one more time. Beow. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean I'm drunk? I'm not drunk. What, well, I'm, we're drunk. I uh, uh, slur this sentence out. <laughs> I, I'm doing it on purpose. <laughs> and what is he Was saying? He like kind of like dancing too. No, he is. Like a little, there's a little lot dance? of there's a lot of slur words, so I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable having it play. Right. But you do hear audio of him like. Oh well, I can't really uh like walk straight line, <laughs> and I don't remember the reasoning of why he can't do it. But that's what that little shimmy was for. Uh, he's like, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, I can't really walk in a straight line, but uh, I could do a backflip. New and TikTok my, dance. And I allegedly <laughs> new TikTok dance. And allegedly, I skate a lot better after a couple uh, drinks. Uh, allegedly, I'm you know I'm a little loosey goosier. So, well, I didn't even know that. Alcohol makes you smarter, right? No, I don't think so. 
Oh. I said what? I said skate. I said skate, Andrew. <laughs> That's a scam. I said skate, not skeet. Oh, whoa. What are you doing? What? You doing your cup? What was it? What? What? Andrew, I think we got a couple more. Do you want to check out some videos while we got them loaded? Give, give me a view. Give All me right. A view. You know what? I actually had another article. One more article. No, it didn't. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I've had this one on cue for the longest time now. Do you remember that show Wednesday? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember me bringing this up? No. Okay, so I had a whole thing where I would be like, hmm. eat it, Dahmer. <laughs> get it? Like that? Like, that's pretty yeah, fun, right? I get it. I yeah, get yeah, it. yeah. Eat it, Dahmer. So that show Wednesday, uh, I guess, surpassed Dahmer because that was Netflix's uh, most popular show at the time. But uh, since then, they the Wednesday show's gotten like way more uh, like publicity and beat way more records. Uh, Andrew, have you watched the show yet? I have not. Really? You, you haven't watched it? You've watched it? I watched an episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I assumed you would have. Was it the first one? I watched the first one. Did we make it to pass to the second one? No, 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 no. No. I, I usually when there's a show that I'm not that much into, I'm like, I'll watch this with Grace. Cause cause Grace likes this stuff. Should I sit up straight? Hey, what are you doing over there? No, I don't. I'm trying. I'm trying not to have it. <laughs> That's gonna be like a positive thing for it to. I'm trying not to have Dahmer, it to cover right? your face, Andy. It's at least a little light, I'm more lighthearted. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh wait, wait. Oh, oh. Here we go. There. <laughs> That's my bad. There it is. There it is. Thanks, Andrew. Sorry about that. No, you're good. We're running that screen off of that computer, so that's what that's about. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, hey. yes, yes, yes. So I thought it was pretty funny, though, because uh, the cramps. Uh, I'm, have you I seen know. the TikTok dance of, of Wednesday Adams? Any of that? No. For being younger what than me, you have no inner presence. <laughs> what is this? I, I'm done. I'm done at you. We're going to change subjects now. <laughs> We're done with this. I mean, do you have anything to talk about Wednesday? This wasn't in the notes. This wasn't in the notes that we talked about. You're, <laughs> yes, you're not wrong. This was this was too big of a surprise for him. Ah, yeah, <laughs> he's caught off guard. Okay, what about this one? A I'm Wells Googling. Fargo oh. VP uh, fired for urinating on a passenger on a plane. That's interesting. Show me the video. I want it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like the video would be... Okay, you the know move. what? You know what the thing is? The way that both you guys demanded for the urination video <laughs> kind of alerts me. <laughs> What's up with you guys? Well, well I'll, I'll take I'll take blurs. I just wanted to see. I don't yeah, want to. I just kind of see reaction. Whatever, whatever, guys. I don't want to kink shame. Is he shame, drunk? But... Like, where's the context? Yeah, he was definitely he was definitely no, drunk. It was very. Yeah, you, you're kink shaming right now. I am. I am, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That's, I don't want to... that was, that's quick. Don't that's cancel. Quick. Don't cancel me. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Not very PC of you. It wasn't. It's a little. It's also not very VP of you know, no. Wells Fargo we'll, VP. We'll move past it. We'll move past it. <laughs> we'll move we'll past it. We'll let it slide. What do you think? What do you think? Oh man, what awesome. what causes? Like man, I've been mad before. You know, I've been upset. I don't think, I and mean, I don't know what how upset I would have to be to be like, just just start peeing on someone. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's. Discipline, like, because it's like, you know, a lot of times when you don't flip a lid on someone, it's self-discipline. It's like self-restraint. But then it's self-restraint and discipline to be able to hold your urine to be ready to pee on someone. What if what if he was running to uh -huh. the bathroom? Uh-huh. Like running down the aisle. He's just like, oh, waiting. And then he's waiting. I'm the Wells bathroom. Fargo <laughs> VP. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pee. What I put the P. If... I put the B what if in he was right by the door. The door opens up, and he's like trying to run in and just couldn't hold like hold it in. He just peed on the person that was coming out. Then I think I think I, we probably wouldn't be reading about this article. What if <laughs> he just him peeing on a passenger? It is. It is. It is. But I'm sure, you pay him off. Be like, hey man, I'm sorry. Here's a couple <laughs> schmeckles and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. Schmeckles. <laughs> Money, I don't know. Dollar bills, dollar dollar bills, y'all. USD. <laughs> yes, yes, there it is. There it is. Man, my fiscal year. <laughs> I get it. The I get it. The portfolio. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we have fun here. 
thank you for everyone who tuned in to Palm Trees and Progress Presents on NBC KCAA. Um, we got about like 10 minutes before we got to get out of here. Uh, do we want to cover this P story some more or um, the VP <laughs> in P? Then, no, we can move on. We can move on. All right. No one else. Have you got any urine jokes? Okay. All right. She's more of a poop joke kind of gal. <laughs> <laughs> I believe. I believe it's my upper decker. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I see, like, I know I sucked as a high school student and a college student. At least I never had the heart to do an upper decker, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and for all the listeners uh, who might not know what that is, just Google it. <laughs> hey, so, <laughs> uh, how many videos did we watch? Just the two, huh? Yeah, those are just the two. I don't think I had another one. Uh, mad tortoise what? This sex mad tortoise oh, saved his species from extinction after fathering 800 kids dang yo what a what a freaking champ huh <laughs> keeping that pimp hand strong am i right baby that's a uh, tip of the cap sir <laughs> nice <laughs> hey what do you call their like uh, their little hands a little little what, what they walk on what their they legs look? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. I don't. I don't. <laughs> the little hands, you know, the things the little, they walk on. All right. I guess I'm, some people call other things claws for certain animals. I'm just saying. I think paws. you have little hands. Paws. Like paws <laughs> also. So it's not. I know it's not turtle. I'm paws. pretty sure paws are like a mammal thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My favorite part about the dolphin is their paws. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it may be claws. I feel like it could be claws. Anyways, my well, favorite reptiles, thing, right? Keep yeah. the, for the joke is. To keep the pimp hand strong is I was trying to, right. <laughs> I was trying to interchange it, but you guys suck, and I'm the dummy. Whatever, guys. <laughs> I hate it here. Is this, is this hour done yet? I want to go home. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Adju, what a cool, what a cool turtle. I think was it was it? A, I think it's a tortoise. A tortoise. I hate it here. <laughs> Man. I was 800 gosh darn kids. 800 kids. Give him he some Gatorade. Oh, what no reptile has ever done. Let the boy cook. Let the boy cook. Am I using that correctly? <laughs> hold, on, we, tired? hold on, we got a caller. Uh oh. You guys talk call amongst her. yourself. A caller. Caller. It's, you're live. Okay. I didn't ask that person to call. Me either. Oh, well, we're just lucky sometimes. I Maybe guess we just have so. A I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm just waiting for. I remember we got lucky one time. There was a caller that <clears throat> called in to correct us oh. about the way we were explaining a. Uh, I forgot what it was. I don't even know how we got the radio station number, hello? but he just called in to hello. Yo, that was uh that was Kanye West. He just wanted to say that he loves what we're doing and he thinks we're doing a good job. That's pretty sick. That's I don't, pretty cool. If is it do cool? It. Do we want him to like the show? Well, uh, it's we... true. It's true. I don't think he, so. He, he, he did text me the other day, so I don't know. I, I didn't text him back. And what? Did, well, okay. What did he text you like? Uh, the same thing. Same I thing. love he, what you're doing. He, he, you're really standing up and representing our more. mess. My he's message. <laughs> he's just doing that. You know, That's the same good. old thing that he was doing before he got in trouble. Oh, good old, good old Con Con Yeezy. Jeez, just getting out of the show. Oh, just trying to get out of the show. Oh, before, we got like four minutes. I guess we could cover the egg prices going down, and I would love to thank Yay. T Swift. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Fishing. Mrs. Swift. She asked for the prices to go down at the was it the Grammys? She did. And you know, ever since then, they have. They went down thirty percent. Dang. I think that's amazing. Like, and you know, don't ever doubt the T Swifters. Don't can she say it one more time. Was it? Can she say it one more time? I know. Yeah. Let's get that to 26. <laughs> Two more times. Two more times. Two more times. Two more times? Two, Two more times. times. Yeah. Andrew, did you watch the Emmys or uh, the award show that just happened? It, the Grammys. Again. Did you watch the well, Emmys? <laughs> well, what are you doing here, sir? Did, did you watch any of it? Did you watch it? Yeah. No. I did. Yeah. yeah. No. I watched the highlights on social media like most uh, I, people my age. Right. I, definitely. That's how I watched. Yo, that hip hop segment towards the end was really awesome. They had Method oh, Man oh, from Wu Tang he, Clan. Helps the tribute. Yes, we we'll, we'll have to talk about it next week. I think we we'll, we can watch a segment during the show. We'll, we'll at least a little hip hop one. 
But uh, I love one of my favorite things was uh, r- the cats from Run DMC uh, was wearing a Beastie Boys shirt. Ooh, that yeah, it was just hip hop in its pure because it was the fiftieth anniversary apparently of hip hop. So um, that's why they had it there. They did all of the little things there. LL Cool J, best thing he's ever done to me is uh, Deep Blue Sea. But uh, you know he rocked a set in his old school leather Adidas tracksuit. That was pretty rad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we yeah, definitely yeah. have to get <clears throat> get to that. Wait. So I have a question. Mm-hmm. If we, if there's an NBC uh, sponsored show, are we able to put that on our radio show? What? Like, can we can we like watch segments like online? Oh like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that led. We need to do that. Far. Far. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> seemed, seemed like an off the air question, but hey, man, I'm trying to schedule plans with you on the air, so who am I to say anything? <laughs> so let's get you some Wahoo. Let's get some Wahoo tacos out, out of this enticing well, conversation. <laughs> Abby, I think that, I'm thinking cheese wallow for dinner. Cheese wallow for dinner. What about? <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, all right. Oh man. So we got hut? about two minutes. Oh, I do oh, love Chiba. You know, my favorite thing about Chiba, uh, not a sponsor of the show, but they should get on it. Their favorite, like, it's like, you want a, 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 a pinner or a blunt or a nug? The <laughs> nug's the yep. smallest one. Yeah. The pinner is like a six foot, and then the yeah, yeah. blunt is a 12er. Let's go. That's beautiful. Killing it. I, I'm 30 years old, but gosh darn it, doesn't that strike me to my soul? And I think it's so cool. <laughs> we jokes. Wow, it's so neat. Cannabis references. Let's go. <laughs> Quick. Quick little reference, real quick. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I forgot to mention to you, I'm working with this nonprofit called Thank You Life. Awesome. Um, it's about uh, using like psychedelic therapy with like ketamine and like. Oh, okay. It, it's like pretty out. cool. It's one, with one of Antonio's cousins, but uh, just shout out to Thank You Life. Just wanted to give them a shout out. They're doing some stuff where like they're helping people that can't afford uh-huh. uh, any of that therapy. And it's actually been, dude, it's crazy. A lot of this stuff is like. It's that's also like the future. Can you get into it on next ep- next week's episode? Let's definitely do it. Awesome. Do you, do you want to shout out where they could find the company? Uh, uh, you can go on their Instagram, Thank You Life. Their uh, website, thankyoulife.com as well. But yeah, I will definitely get to it next week. Just want to shout them out real quick. Oh, man, I'm stoked for th- that new uh, business opportunity and business venture for you, Andrew. I'm sure you're going to kill it on that. And uh, thank you, as always, Andrew, for, uh, you know, I couldn't do this without you. Abby, thank you for being our lovely guest, Abby Johnson, Vibes Photography Ooh. on Instagram. Get at her for photos. And um, listeners, thank you so much for tuning in, as always. And, uh, you know, don't forget to tap in at Palm Trees in Progress on Instagram and all the social medias. Thank you for tuning in to Palm Trees in Progress Presents uh, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And thank you for everyone. Uh, bye. 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 AA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM. The station that needs no...